what's up everybody um my name is mina as you can tell i'm filming on my laptop today and you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put this i'm gonna put like a piece of paper over the screen so that instead of looking at myself i look at the camera because i just feel like it's annoying that i just keep looking at myself i don't even want to see what i look like right now honestly because i'm not very satisfied with it so hold on this is how you just decrease your anxiety when you try to film. Okay, so, perfect. So, wait, but does this change? Hold on. Okay, I just had to check and see if it changed uh, how bright it made my face, but I'm going to cover my face up so I can't look at myself. So, all I can look at is the camera. So, this is the thing. Um, <clears throat> this is my third time filming this YouTube video, and I'm really irritated. <sighs> Sorry. And bored, obviously. I'm kind of irritated, so I'm just gonna get it out there. This is not my most favorite video that I've ever filmed. I've been having a lot of technical difficulties, but I'm just gonna do it for the final time on my computer because basically the problem I had was I couldn't get the footage off my phone onto my computer because it was such a long file. So I'm just gonna film it on my computer so I can just like put it in iMovie and get it up. But this is basically a these are the, okay, <laughs> this is the reasons why I left UGA, the reasons why I hate UGA, the reasons why UGA sucks, I feel like I was being too nice in the first video, so I refilmed it, but I'm just going to lay everything out on the table, so I first want to say, obviously everybody has their own experience, UGA is great to some people, and some people drop out, just like me, um, and then I also want to say that I'm very grateful to have even went to UGA in the first place, it is expensive to go there, and it is a big university and I'm grateful to have gotten the experience to go there because a lot of people either can't afford it or they just can't get in, da 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 da, da whatever. But I don't want to um, just hype it up and not be honest about it. Like I don't want to be toxic, like it's a thing called like toxic positivity where like you really shouldn't be positive in a situation because just because UJ has this name to it, that doesn't mean I'm not going to tell the truth about it what happened there and why I don't like it, okay? So, um, I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm just getting into it. Um, I also want to say that I have a lot of good friends that still go to UGA, and I made a lot of friends at UGA, so this is not a, an attack at people, this is a, an attack at the school. Well, it's not, well, it kind of is an attack, honestly. I'll just start, like, with my family, I guess. My mom graduated from UGA. A lot of my family graduated from UGA. I grew up a hardcore, diehard UGA and, and go dogs for eternity i actually think i actually think i um that was a caption of one of my instagram posts which is sad but anyways um when i went to uga it was like my dream school i was so excited okay i went my freshman year coming right out of high school um i had three roommates me and my roommate shared a room two others shared a room each room had a bathroom. We shared a common area and a kitchen, okay? I did not pick those two roommates. I did pick the roommate who I was in the room with, and we just found each other online. We met one time before deciding we were roommates. We both kind of needed roommates. It was like at the end of the picking the roommate process, and so we were a little bit stressed, and so we decided to be roommates, but we both lived in Atlanta, and she was pretty cool. So um, we got our dorm very late so we actually ended up getting an apartment style dorm which is not ideal deal for like a freshman i feel like um freshmen need the experience of having like a classic like dorm situation where everyone like keeps their doors open you know who's on your hall i didn't know who was on my hall everybody kept their doors closed da -da -da -da. Uh, a lot of people that lived in that little in the building that i lived in in the buildings next to it was um uh, athletes, um, older students, foreign exchange students, and then students that wanted a more like quiet setting. It wasn't on like the main campus. It was kind of like a ducked off. And I feel like that kind of set my experience off on a wrong foot because I feel like I didn't get the true freshman experience and I feel like it was harder for me to meet people. And I feel like UGA should do a better job at giving priority to like all the freshmen on getting like regular freshman style dorms. So that's the first thing. I rushed. If you don't know what rush is then good for you if you do know what rush is then god bless you i don't want to come for anyone that is in a sorority because that's i'm not here to bash anyone you know what i mean 
it just wasn't for me. It wasn't my thing. I don't know, like, during Rush, it's basically when you, like, go, um, to, you know, the sororities, and you go to, like, all the houses, and they, the girls talk to you, and they scream at you, and stare at you, and, like, yell in your face, and, um, do their little chants and stuff, and it's extremely scary, it's the scariest thing I've ever done and then they tell you you just kind of talk to them they get to know you they don't really get to know you at all it's really a dumb well I don't want to say that it's really a um not personal way of getting to know someone it goes very fast and then basically they pick if you if they want you in your their sorority or not um after a week of doing that I dropped out of it because it just was not for me whatsoever like so I did not mesh with anybody, any of the girls. I did meet some great girls like during rush, but at the end of the day, it was like I that was it was just not for me like at all. Um, and I guess I kind of just did it because I thought that was kind of like what you do when you're a freshman girl and you're going into UGA and you want to be like go dogs and it's like they market it as like a way to meet people. You have like a sisterhood and it's just supposed to be this great thing, but I just did not click with it at all and knew off the bat that it wasn't for me um all my roommates ended up getting a house that they liked and then they all joined sororities so three of my roommates were in sororities and I was the only one that wasn't but it was fine because if I wanted to go to any I guess sorority event or like frat party or something they knew about it so I would just go with them so I had the connections it was fine I didn't care at the end of the day um but I feel like off the bat I was kind of like not in the position to like meet new people and on top of that I'm extremely painfully shy sometimes when it comes to meeting new people and so I don't know it just like I just didn't feel like I fit in anywhere like kind of off the bat right um I also feel like UGA is like catered to like the sororities and the fraternities so no matter where you are on campus, no matter where you are in the city of Athens, you're going to see a girl or a boy with a little frat fraternity shirt, sorority shirt with a little symbols on it. And um, I'm not trying to disrespect in, like anybody by saying this, but it's just like they're everywhere. Like they are everywhere. And you just can't, you just can't just live in peace without just seeing one of the little shirts and the little girls smile at you. Since that was like the majority, I felt like the whole school was like kind of catered to those type of people. Next. So, um, UGA is a big school, right? Okay. We know that. Um, and I knew what I was getting into by going to, like going to like a big SEC school. But, um, I didn't realize how much of a number I would really feel like. It was just so big. Um, I had a lot of mental health issues at UGA, which... I'm kind of going to get into it. I guess I'll just talk about it right now. I was like the most depressed I've probably ever been at UGA. And I'll I'll get into why later. But I just felt like when I reached out for help, like to counselors, to things like that, I just felt like a number and I felt like I wasn't being helped at all. And it's kind of hard when you're away from your family and you're dealing with like uh, paralyzing mental health issues. Uh, I've had like a history of like depression, um, in, like in high school. And then like in college, it was like the worst it's ever been. And this year, I've actually been able to, like, find, like, get a hold of it. And I would say now I'm in, like, a pretty stable place, even though, you know, I do have my ups and downs um, all the time. But uh, I would say I'm, like, okay right now. And at UGA, I was the lowest that I've ever been. I had no, literally, no will to do anything. I would sit in my room. I would not go to class. But it was like I physically couldn't go. You know, if you have ever dealt with someone that has depression or if you've ever dealt with depression yourself you know how it feels to just have the feeling of like not like literally not even not wanting to do anything just literally not being able to do anything at all so I had a crippling depression and I felt like I was just a number and I didn't matter to anyone and that was kind of just like the vibe at the school so the next thing is like what UJ is like known for I feel like and that is like their downtown scene so downtown is just like downtown Athens it's pretty much on campus or if it's not technically on campus it's right next to it okay I had to see if it was still recording 
I'm putting this back up so I can't see myself. This is a great tip. Uh, if you're vlogging and you keep looking at yourself, just put something over your face. So you just don't even know what you look like. It's just like a surprise. When you look at the footage, then you know what you look like. My computer is being so loud right now. That's concerning. So, um... I actually forgot what I was saying. Oh, downtown. Okay, so downtown is like in downtown Athens, and they're basically, they're shops, but at night it comes alive with bars everywhere. I don't want to say 100, but honestly there might be 100, I don't know, like close to it. And they're, they're just bars everywhere, and the point is to just bar hop, get belligerently drunk, and etc, etc, etc. Um, so every it wasn't even like a weekend thing it was like every single night it was like yeah we're going downtown we're going downtown we're going downtown let's go downtown it was fun at first i was like wow th is this what college is just like chilling and like partying like every single day i was having a good time until i later found out that th the life i was living had no purpose i had no intention i had no fulfillment it was simply school do school, get your school over with, so then you could, um, you know, go downtown every single night. Uh, for example, my two roommates that were in the other room, uh, I actually think that there was like two weeks or at least a week where they went downtown every single night, including like Monday and Sunday night. I was just like, wow, this is, this is, a, this is an interesting life. I was like, is this really what college is about? If you've ever had an existential crisis, trust me you would have an existential crisis here i had the biggest of the existential crises here just questioning my purpose what am i doing here what's the point of partying every day when am i going to start a business i was like what is going on and then on the weekend sometimes i would come back to atlanta and i would you know go to georgia state because i had friends that go to georgia state and I was just like, wow, like I miss the city so much. I would miss Atlanta every single day. Every time I come back to Atlanta, I would just be like, dang, I need to be here. And it didn't take me very long to realize that UGA was not the place for me. The only thing there to do was to go downtown. I just literally felt like I was trapped, like in this small town with nothing to do except just do the same thing every night same scene same people it was just like some it was really some really weird stuff you know underage drinking was encouraged and that's like expected at a college town i'm not trying to be lame and say that like 19 year olds shouldn't drink in college because i feel like college is the time to just do whatever and just like not apologize for it low-key even though like your decisions now affect your whole life because I didn't do that good at UGA my first year for the depression and other reasons and now I'm having having to like suffer the consequences with like being behind in my classes and just being behind in school in general and I really felt like I wasted a year of my life and I put it to waste and that is a year that I will never get back but I did learn a lot of valuable lessons so I'm grateful for it always. I have a conspiracy theory. This is my conspiracy theory. Um, just kind of a little theory that popped into my head one day and I was like hmm this may or may not be true. I kind of feel like what if college towns promote drinking and especially underage drinking so that um you can like not do that well in school and stay in the college longer and spend more money on the classes trying to get through your classes. I don't know I thought that was a cool conspiracy. Let me know what you think. The next thing that I want to talk about, I'm just going to kind of talk about it real quickly. I don't know, it's kind of like uh, a lot. <laughs> so I don't know how in-depth I should get with it, but I just feel like the school was very racist, and here's why. Um, I felt like the school condoned, well, maybe not condoned. I wouldn't say condoned, but I would just say that it was very common. It just felt like my, um, so okay, here's like, since, okay, I can't think. Here's an example. Basically, if I would go to like a frat party or if I would go to, uh, if I would be downtown around like a lot of, let's say, um, people, okay, um, I would hear, um, a lot of white boys like saying the N-word and like nobody would care about it. I would hear, you know, white boys talking about like black women, um, in derogatory ways. Um, I would feel like, oh, and like I... I was like looking around like am I the only one that's like cons like not okay with like this like this is weird to me like I've never been in a setting where that type of behavior 
was okay, you know what I mean? And like so common. Even in my own uh, room, okay, my own apartment, my roommates acted like they had never seen a black person in their lives, literally. I'm not trying to throw them under the bus, but I have to be honest because I don't even think they'll ever come across this video. And if they do, hello, hi, how are you? Um, I'm not trying to come for you, but this is the truth. Uh, when I would bring uh, friends over uh, sometimes to our apartment from like home or something and they were black, I would just notice their whole entire persona would change. They One time I actually had a lot of people over for somebody's birthday and they literally went in their room and shut their door and were in their room the whole... And that's not a coincidence. I'm sorry. It's not a coincidence. And I was living with them. So imagine how uncomfortable that was. You know what I mean? Um... And then there were other times where we were we would be like watching a show about like um with a black girl in it and they would make a comment on her hair and say it was like ugly or something and all her hair it was just afro but they wouldn't comment on anybody else except for that one girl and it was just very suspicious and I would like call I would call them out I'd be like oh like what's wrong with their hair like you know kind of make them try to confront these issues because I think so many people are just unknowingly racist and it's just so easy for them to be racist if they've never been around, I guess, a lot of black people before. It, it was just weird. I don't know. It, it just made me very uncomfortable and I did not want to be in an environment where that kind of behavior was accepted and okay and not called out, you know what I mean? I did have a pretty rough experience with my roommates just because they would go out so often and they would, you know... Um, not clean up they would be a mess and we would go days with it being an absolute mess and they just didn't care and um it was very inconsiderate and I think that's another reason why I hated it because my living situation was so ass I feel like I have covered everything that I wanted to cover I don't really know anything else. like if I think of anything else I'll put it in there I think this video is almost at 20 minutes so I'll see if I can edit it down but um that's all I had to say. At the end of the day, I am so grateful for the experience of going to UGA. If I had never went to UGA, I would never be where I am right now. And I feel the most on top of my life that I've ever been, the most in control and the most knowledgeable about what I need to do to get where I want to be in the future. This is just honest. This is really just an honest account of why I left and why I didn't like it. And if you're anything like me and you're thinking about going to UGA, maybe this video will help you kind of like make a decision and realize that it's not for you. But yeah, I'm thriving in Atlanta right now, and I go to Georgia State, and I'm just, like, the best I've been in years. So, um, yeah, I recommend if you ever, like, are unsure about a situation and you want to make a change, just do it because I just left that life behind and started a whole new life, and it has been great, and um, I'm finally fulfilling all my dreams. So, that is all I have to say. I'm going to edit this right now and get it up as fast as I can because I just want this video to be over with but yeah thank you guys so much for watching um I have I'm trying to do two videos a week so yeah stay tuned and I love you goodbye <laughs>